Hello everyone, myself Uday Kumar. In this video, we are going to discuss about TPH, transactions per hour. So everybody, like most of them having doubt about like how to achieve transaction per second and uh, how to, uh, you know, uh, calculate think time and pacing, how to give that. So in this video, uh, I think you will be all clear about how to achieve TPH and what is TPS and uh, how to achieve, uh, how to use think time and pacing, how to calculate that. So in this video, I will clear everything. So first of all, uh, so let me uh, add one dummy sampler here. Uh, let me give you the requirements so that you guys can understand. So, so I'm just explaining here. For example, my requirement is like, uh, I want you to achieve, for example, uh, something like 1200 transactions tp h okay i i want to uh, achieve 1200 transactions but not hourly so assume this is uh, your tph you need to achieve it okay so what you have is like uh you i mean uh you uh, the client gave you directly please achieve trans uh, 1200 transactions in suppose like assume in five minutes in five minutes please execute these many transactions and let me know the uh, response times okay this is your requirement so for this requirement uh, what are the things you have already so you know that you totally having around eight transactions number of transactions you have uh, total transactions equal to eight and and so in order to know one iterate you in order to achieve these uh, transactions in some time, you need to know what is the one iteration time. So how do you know that? So let me execute this one time. So I disabled that. So just one user, one iteration, just let me execute it. So you can, on the top right corner, you can see the time. See, so the average time for one iteration is around five seconds, okay? One iteration time is five seconds here. Total transaction is eight, eight transaction and one iteration time, one iteration time equal to five seconds. Okay. So now you have only these two, uh, uh, I mean, uh, conditions you have. So what you have to uh, get is you, want, you have to achieve 1200 transactions in five minutes. This is your requirement. Okay. So now uh, we never know virtual users also how many users should i conduct so you don't know the user count also so to achieve this i have a formula i have a simple formula i will let you guys know so that you guys can understand well so what the what formula i use is total transactions equal to virtual users into tps into time okay this is the formula I'm going to use throughout this video. Okay, please try to remember this formula. So some of them use little sla. It is quite similar to little sla. So now you have to calculate virtual users. So in order to calculate virtual users, what are the uh, things you have? You know, total transaction that is nothing but 1200 transactions. And time is five minutes, which so is around 300 seconds. And TPS, uh, let me tell you how to calculate TPS. So, so now, uh, what is it uh, per second how many transactions are executing now you know like you have total eight transactions and executed in five seconds which is equal to so what exactly the tps okay eight divided by five can you calculate and let me know that is 1.6 so 1.6 tps okay 1.6 transactions are executing per second. Okay. So this is TPS. Now try to calculate virtual users. Virtual users equal to total transaction. That is nothing but 1200. 1200 and divided by um, so virtual use, I mean TPS into. So when you calculate this virtual users equal to total transaction divided by TPS into time. This will be the formula. So total transaction is 1200 and TPS that is nothing but 1.6 into time. Time is nothing but 300 seconds. Okay. 
300 cm. Now calculate. First of all, try to calculate this 1.6 into 300. How much? 480. Nothing but which is equal to 1200 divided by 480. So how much? 1200 divided by 480, which is equal to 2.5. 2.5 users. So with 2.5 users, nothing but two and a half users, you can, uh, I mean, uh, achieve this 200 transactions in five minutes. But my requirement is like, I want to calculate think time also, think time pacing, how much think time should I give? How much pacing I should give, okay? So in 2.5 users, if they execute for five minutes, you can achieve this 200 transactions, right? So what if, if I give, I'm increasing, I assume I'm increasing to six users. So I want to, so six users will execute within, it won't take five minutes, right? So it will execute maybe three minutes or two minutes, we never know. So I'm increasing some user count. So with six users, I will do the test and I will add think time and pacing. Okay, so how much exactly, like wh what is the count you can give uh, as a think time? So let me, for example, so total transactions you need to achieve is 1200 divided by how many transactions you have eight transactions which is equal to calculated 1200 divided by eight which is equal to 150 iteration total 150 iterations should be done each user but here I, what i'm doing 150 divided by six i i i'm doing it with six users so calculate it so 150 divided by 6, which is equal to 25. So 25 iterations. Each user will do 25 iterations. That is nothing but 6 users. Right? Okay. 25 iterations. So if one iteration time, how much? One iteration time is here. One iteration time is you have 5 seconds. Right? 25 iterations equal to 25 into 6. Sorry, 5 which is equal to how much time? 25 into 5. 125, okay? So 125 seconds. So now with six users, you can achieve 200 transactions in 125 seconds only. But whereas our script timing is total time, how much is it? 300 seconds, 300 minus uh, 125, which is equal to how many seconds? Tell me, 300 minus 125 which is equal to 175 seconds so the remaining time so remaining time so total test time minus the iteration time okay which is equal to remaining time right so remaining 175 seconds we are having free time okay this is nothing but uh, ideal time so we can use this as think time or pacing okay so let me uh tell you so 175 divided by how many iterations you are doing 75 divided by 25 iterations right so which is equal to seven seconds okay seven seconds means you have total eight transactions how, how can you give that maybe uh you can you can give um so total eight transactions right so uh you can give two seconds as out of which two seconds as maybe uh pacing so you need to use seven seconds delay for each iteration right so uh, how can you do that so say two seconds as pacing and if you have you have five seconds right five seconds so five seconds is nothing but maybe uh you can use uh, uh, uh let me uh, show you here so i have total seven seconds for for example let me add one second here one one second and again here also Say one second think time, total two and three, four, five, six. Okay, here let me give 500 milliseconds. There is nothing but half second, and here also half second. Like that, you can give it. Okay. 
so just for example i'm telling but uh, you can uh, you know give accordingly based on your requirement uh, so now let me now you got everything right so now uh, with 6 users you have to uh, you can achieve uh, how many 1200 transactions right so let me add 6 users and ramp up period is assume 6 seconds and i am giving here time as 300 seconds let me remove this one so just save it and run it let me clear everything clear out so on the top right corner you can see the time okay the test will run for five minutes and here you are going to get around how many transactions we are going to achieve that is nothing but 1200 transactions we have calculated right hope you guys are able to understand right so let, uh, meanwhile the test is going on let me explain the process again for example so your requirement the client gave you a requirement to achieve 1200 transactions in some time okay it could be five minutes or it could be one hour or whatever okay so uh and you have total transactions of maybe uh in your script how many transactions you have consider those many transaction and try to execute your script with one iteration try to take the one iteration time that is like my script one iteration time is five seconds okay now uh you need to uh you know calculate the virtual user the client did not give you most of the client won't give you uh the user load they will give you the tph they want you to achieve some transaction per second or transaction per hour okay so now to calculate virtual user first of all we should know the tps what is my tps current tps so so tps is nothing but total transaction divided by execution one iteration execution time okay now you got tps is 1.6 1.6 transaction per second so now you will get virtual user count virtual user is equal to total transaction divided by tps into time okay so i have given the tps is 1.6 and my total duration test duration will be 300 seconds this is nothing but 2.5 users using 2.5 users you can achieve 200 transactions in five minutes but what i have another requirement right i want to know how many how much think time should i give how much pacing should i give okay so in order to know that so you have only 300 seconds so within 300 seconds with 2.5 users you can achieve that transaction but but what i have to do is uh i want I, i'm going to increase the user load for example if it is a 2.5 I'm, I'm doubling the user okay around six users i am taking so 2.5 users are completing in five minutes means six users will complete lesser than less than that time so uh i'm considering six users and so now uh total transactions are uh 1200 my script transactions are eight so nothing but uh each user uh will iterate 150 times to achieve 1200 transactions right uh so uh i mean so with one user we'll do that 150 iteration whereas i'm doing it with six users so 150 iteration divided by six users you think nothing but 25 iteration like each user will run 25 iterations so 25 uh into 5 5 is nothing but my iteration time so 125 seconds it will it will take 25 users will take 25 iterations will take so 125 seconds okay 25 iteration each iteration is 5 seconds is nothing but 125 seconds the script will take 125 seconds to achieve 200 transactions in 5 minutes okay so uh like out of five minutes it is taking only 125 seconds like right total time minus the execution time which is equal to the remaining time okay so remaining time is nothing but uh remaining time uh you are getting right so remaining time uh divided by so number of uh you know uh, iterations you are going to do that is nothing but 175 divided by 25 iterations so uh, how much time uh, you are going to get for uh, is nothing but seven seconds you are going to get right so seven seconds is nothing but so you can you can add seven seconds uh in between the transactions you can add anywhere so by that you can 
you can easily achieve uh, your number of transactions. Okay. This is how we'll, the test is still in progress and you can see uh, the four minutes is completed and uh, the test is still running. Okay, so on the top right side corner, you can see that uh, four minutes, eight seconds left. See guys, so we have executed exactly 1290 seconds. Okay, it is just maybe a 19 transaction more. Maybe it, it is maybe response time decreased. That's what uh, count is little increased, but is almost 1200 transaction we have achieved with six users and with 300 duration with the think time of think time pacing of seven seconds. Okay, hope you guys are understood this concept. So if you have any doubts regarding the TPH or TPS or the formula, please feel free to comment on below. And if you like the video, you can subscribe and I will try to upload more performance testing videos uh, soon. So thank you guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video and have a great day.